Today's video, MGTOW videos and the one point. When you listen to MGTOW videos, you keep hearing the same thing over and over and over again. Why are women this way? Why do women want money? Why? 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 So I'm saying here today as a MGTOWer, a real MGTOWer, not one of these little false wannabe walk-along bullshitters bringing you the message of why would you give a shit if you're in a bar and you meet a woman and she turns you down why would you sit there thinking about to yourself what did I do wrong do I smell are my clothes not appealing do I not have enough money am I fat why would you care about anything that she has to tell you you see there's men's biggest problem. They care nowadays what women have to say. There's your biggest goddamn problem. You men out there have become so weak and pathetic that you actually care what women want. Let me tell you what they want. They want everything that you have. They want everything. For nothing. So again, when you're in a bar and you meet a woman and she rejects you, why do you think to yourself, do I smell, do I look bad, am I fat, do I not have enough money? Why don't you look at her as saying, you disgusting harlot, all you're out for is money, you're the lowest scum of life out there. As for myself, I do not date, I understand what women are, I understand how women have become it. I understand where women are going with it, and I understand that it is a path to self-destruction. I do not want to be in the way when that time bomb goes off. Every female is a walking time bomb. If they do not kill you financially, they will kill you with drama. Women have a serious issue nowadays. A very serious issue. It is a mental disorder. It is a very incurable disorder, and it is called narcissism. There is only one way to treat a narcissistic woman, and that is to treat her like a Pavlovian dog. In other words, treat her like shit, and she'll keep coming back for more. Treat her like a queen, and she'll never come back again. There is a reason women go after the bad boy. They are narcissistic and they seek a narcissistic male. So when you ask yourself, why are women going for the bad boys? Well, very simply put, when she was seven years old, she was playing with Barbie dolls. When she was 14 years old, she snuck out behind her dad and mom's back and got laid. When she was 16 years old, she started smoking and taking drugs. When she was 18 years old, she got knocked up and had her first abortion. When she was 24, she had her first marriage and it failed. When she was 26, she had her second abortion. When she was 28, she had her first kid. And that's how she spends her life. You see men, men, they go through life looking for a woman. Women go through life trying to avoid men because men throw their dicks at them all the time. They are so used to dick that that's all they really know is dick, 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 dick. So instead of looking for a man for his heart, soul, mind, and spirit, they have now gone after the size of the cock, the size of the car, the size of the house, and the size of the bank account. But men have a, men created this. Men have allowed it. Men can put a stop to it at any time they feel like it by just standing up and saying, no more. We're not having it. Because feminism is a voluntarily choice made by men. Did you know that? Feminism has three elements to it. Females, government, and men. If you take away one of the three elements, the whole pyramid collapses. So men are keeping feminism alive. That's the sad truth about it. But like I said, I would like to know why men go to a bar, meet a woman, she rejects him, and he goes home feeling sorry for himself instead of realizing that he just got away from something that was pure evil. 
So once again, guys, the reason why the woman goes for the bad boy is because she's a bad girl. She's been bad since the day she's born. She rebelled against her parents. She rebelled against her family. She rebelled against her own church. She rebelled against her community. She rebelled against the state. She rebels against herself. She rebels everything. So why would she not rebel with you? Be grateful you got away from the harlot. Be grateful you saw what she really is like because that's what you're really seeing. When she rejects you and you hear all the bad things she has to say about you or how she laughs in your face, you are seeing the real woman. So be grateful and get on your hands and knees and thank God that you didn't get stuck with her, that you didn't have a kid with her, that you didn't get fall in love with her, and that you did not marry her. Be grateful. It is better to get that quick slap in your face of rejection and knowing what kind of woman that is than to marry that woman and be with her for 20 years, find out later on when you finally have the rose-tinted glasses slapped off your face and you're being dragged to the family court. Be grateful. Realize what you're doing when you're going out on a date. Don't just see a woman for the body. Look at the mind. Look at the spirit. Definitely look at the spirit because you'll notice that most of them are narcissistic and cold and wouldn't even care twice about killing you and moving on. They are little children. They have not grown up. They have not turned into adults in their mind. Nor should they have to because men are supporting them. They are supporting the childhood inside of these women. Men don't seem to want the woman that has really grown up. They want the little independent child that's rebelling and causing uh, hiccups everywhere in her life. They want the self-destructive woman. I don't want a self-destructive woman. I don't want any woman. I'm done with it all. As I said, narcissism is pure evil. So therefore they will seek an evil partner because they themselves are evil. You cannot build a relationship with evil, as Jesus Christ tells you. You can tell a tree by its fruit, and you can tell a fruit by its tree. A rotten tree does not produce good fruit. And the same goes for you cannot plant a good tree on rotten soil. It doesn't work. So when you see these girls going around with the bad guy. Don't sit there and lie to yourself saying, what is this good girl doing with this bad boy? That's not the truth. The truth is what you're seeing is a rebellious girl who left her family, who got into drugs, who got pregnant, who had an abortion, who got married, had another abortion, got, got divorced, and then had another first child. That's usually the woman that you're seeing there. But the society has brainwashed you so bad into believing that all women are good and men are just perverts and pigs. That the woman must be brainwashed by this man and therefore she must be being controlled by this man and if she really had a choice she would leave this man. No. The truth is, if you took this woman away and locked her up, she would find a way to get out and get back to that man. So even if you tried to save her from herself, she would still run back to that man. The reason for this is very simple. They are narcissistic. They are evil. They need an evil man to be with them. Very clear, my friends. This is why good boys always finish last. Because if you're good and if you're kind, they will shit all over you. But if you treat them worse than you would treat a dog, okay? If you just treat them as bad as a dog. You know, with a dog, you don't let them sleep in your bed. You feed the dog once a day, you give it attention once in a while, but you're in control of it. If you treat women like that, the woman will keep coming back to you every day. Every day wanting you more and more and more and more. Because her goal is to change you. Because if she can get you to change, she might get you to marry her. And if she can get, if she can get you to marry her, she can take half your shit. See, women don't have any truth. Even when they say to you, I love you and I can't wait to marry you, it's also another lie. It's a big scam. It's to get you to that marriage, to get you to the wedding chapel, get that ring around your finger, then to get those divorce papers signed. So she could take half your shit. Remember I told you this, because it's really important. Women do not care about you. They only see you as a business opportunity, and they're proud of it. This is how stupid they are. And this is how stupid men have become to fall for it and to live with it and to bend with it and to deal with it and to adapt to it. Bye.